up next, man, we got my twin, man, my swole twin. We got Killmonger. Literally the best three cost card in the game. He'll probably remain that way, honestly. Yeah, there's not there's not much to say on Killmonger, man. Y'all already know the deal with him. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Part three, man. Let's get right into it. So just looking at the list, like to begin. I really don't see that many that many bad cards honestly this is probably gonna be the most difficult list but um yeah let's go ahead and start with agent colson um agent colson all right he's good on the devil dinosaur team um, but i feel like that's pretty much it right like you're not I feel like it, the four and five cost cards that you build, that you run on whatever build you're using are the cards that you want to use, right? Um, yeah, I feel like outside of Devil Dinosaur, he's really not that good. So we can put him in C for now, but we'll see later. But next, we definitely got one of the best three cost cards ever, which is Bishop. You already know, like, that Bishop bounce deck was running the meta like literally like last week and even though they nerfed it like he's still really good man um obviously he works great with mysterio still great with angela great with kitty pride and those are all like three s tier cards in my opinion and we just went over it like last video so yeah i'm gonna definitely put bishop in s for sure black cat Three and seven is really good, right? It's not the strongest out of any three cost card, but the reason why you can't rank her too high is because one, you have to run her in the discard deck, and two, like in all the modern discard decks, you can't really use her because you're probably running Modoc with a bunch of like six cost cards. Um, unless you have like, unless you don't have Modoc, and in that case, you probably run some of these other discard cards like like sword master like lady sif but um i mean we could put her in c for now she's really strong but you just can't really use her that much obviously you can use every three cost in like a silver surfer type team but um yeah she's all right though cosmo though cosmo man Y'all seen that new Guardians, man. Cosmo is, she's our girl, man. She just, she just does it for you. Literally stops all the, the nonsense. You, you see, you see your opponent play like Invisible Woman. You just put Cosmo down and they forfeit. You see them playing Destroy. You put Cosmo down and they forfeit, man. You predict the Galactus. You put Cosmo down and they forfeit, bro. It's, it's just. It's just a phenomenal card, man. Counters Wong, which is one of the best cards ever. Cosmo, that's our girl for sure. Cerebro. Up next, we got Cerebro. Um, the Cerebro decks are pretty good. But I feel like Cerebro isn't as good as these two. While it is a, pretty, a definitely definitely a really strong card, I, I just can't put it in S. I might move it up later, but not right now. Not right now, man. Brood. Brood is a bit more useful than these two. You can play them with like Patriot. Obviously, you can do Cerebro too. Uh, or three, because you're probably using Blue Marvel on that team. Um, you can use him with Storm. Cerebro is all right, man. It's just, it's just more of a support card rather than like um, something that, like you can run like make a deck around like Cerebro, like Bishop, or um, and it's just not really as good as a support as like something like Cosmo or something like that. So I'm gonna put Cerebro in. Yeah, B. I think that's a good spot. Captain America. I feel like his ability is really good. But the problem with Captain America is like, why don't you just use Blue Marvel, right? Um, and I honestly, honestly don't think Captain America is that bad. 
I'm gonna put them at the back of C, but yeah, man, just use Blue Marvel instead, to be honest. Debris. Debris is kind of like Brood, has a bit more utility than these three cards right here. Um, same thing, you can run her with Patriot, you can use her to stop Galactus. Um, it's just rocks, man. Like, rocks can never be that good. I might even put her, she either late B or the top of C for sure, man. Like, Debris is. It's, it's an interesting car, but I feel like she just doesn't she just doesn't really get the job done for you. Deathlock. Although you can only use Deathlock on one one style of team, it just does an amazing job at like at, at, at what it's used for, right? On top of that, Destroy is one of the best archetypes in the game. It's really no reason to put Deathlock any lower than A, my opinion. Doctor Strange. I'm put Doctor Strange at the top of B. You could obviously use him with mainly move decks, right? Um, but you can also you can you can if you're smart enough, right? And a lot and, and you actually think for yourself and don't just copy every other deck that everybody else is using, right? You can pull off some pretty interesting stuff with Doctor Strange for sure, man. And um, he definitely has a lot of good utility, so I'm gonna put him in B. Cyclops, regular Cyclops is probably the worst, the worst three cost card. No, that's not even, that's not even true. But I'm gonna get to the worst later. But Evolve Cyclops is literally, is literally one of the top three costs, man. Whenever you're playing against Cyclops, make sure you turn off your sound effects, bro. Because whenever that turn ends and you lose that two power, bro, it's just gonna hurt. It's just gonna hurt, man. So yeah, I definitely gotta rank Cyclops and S tier for sure. Dazzler, I feel like Dazzler is D. Um, you have to do way too much setup uh, to get her to work. Um, it's really hard to pull off her ability and justify using her over um, really any card. Like when I first think of what type of team she could be used on, I'm thinking of like something with Ultron, but at the same time, you want to run like Patriot and a bunch of cards with no abilities. So um, Dazzler is pretty tricky, man. Uh, I don't think she's horrible, but she's pretty bad though. So I'm put her in D. Electro. Electro is definitely A. Definitely A, man. Um, just that plus one energy. Even even with the draw, the drawback is the reason why he's not S. But you can pull off a lot of different type of a lot of different type of tricky decks with Electro, man. Definitely a solid card for sure. Gambit. They buff Gambit to 3-3. It's not showing up on here. I definitely think Gambit's a really good card as well, man. Obviously, you can use them on discard. Or one of those Wong type of teams where you literally just destroy every card on your opponent's team only reason why i wouldn't put them in the a tier though is because destroy archetypes are really good right now and you're going to run across like a lot of wolverines a lot of novas a lot of nimrods but other than that man gamut is really solid but you also do need a lot of support to pull it off so i'm gonna put them in beach i think there's a good spot green goblin i don't think green goblin can ever be bad Green Goblin is always going to be a solid card. He might be the top of A. Um, only reason why I put, wouldn't put him in S is because, like, you get a lot more mileage out of th these three cards as opposed to Green Goblin. But, yeah, Green Goblin, you can put him on any team. And he'll, um, like, that negative three power is really good. Only thing you have to worry about is Cosmo, which is in the tier uh, just above him. So, yeah, I'm putting him up there group a lot of people don't use group man but group is one of my that's probably one of my favorite cards in this game i'm put group and and i know he's not that good i'm just put him at the top of c or i'm put him behind coast uh, he's probably the top of c that three six is pretty good man but i don't know i, I feel like out of all the guardians cards probably him and like drax are the weakest um it's just so many other 
so many other good three costs that you're better off using rather than group. Um, although it does work well with cards like Daredevil and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, up next, man, we got Hawkbuster. Hawkbuster is decent. But I feel like there's always a better card you can use. You mainly want to use Hawkbuster on move decks, right? Just so you don't like clog your lanes up and you're able to like use them with Vulture or something like that. A move around. Um, and they are buffing move decks. So I'm going to put them at the back of B for now. I really like Hawkbuster. Um. Definitely a, a underexplored card in my opinion. Yeah, I'm putting him at the back of B for sure. My my man Kingpin, man. Up next we got Kingpin. Yeah, this this is is a tricky tricky. Uh, the three costs are tricky, man. They're like all they're all like around that like same power level. I feel like that same like utility level i want to put kingpin i think kingpin is a b tier card um, obviously he works great with magneto and arrow cards like that juggernaut which we got coming up in a little bit kingpin you can also like run a really cool strat where you use kingpin and then you use like cloak and you, and you have like Nova on your team and then you move Nova over to where Kingpin is on the last turn. You could run a lot of interesting things with Kingpin. But at the same time, Destroy is a really strong deck right now with Nova, with Wolverine, right? With um, Nimrod. So he's kind of like, kind of like Gambit in a sense, man. So I'm, I'm going to just put him in B tier. Up next, man, we got my twin, man, my swole twin. We got Killmonger, literally the best three-cost card in the game. He'll probably remain that way, honestly. And, um, yeah, there's not there's not much to say on Killmonger, man. Y'all already know the deal with him. Um, big Juggernaut, my other swole twin, man. We got to put Juggernaut in probably the top of A. Juggernaut is really good. Obviously, works great with Storm. Um, great on Kingpin decks. Great on the last turn to like secure a location. Man, King Juggernaut is just really solid, man. Um, I, I, de I definitely got to put him in A tier for sure, man. You can run him, although you usually have your, you usually run him on like a Storm type of team. Um, you can, you can really run him on any team, honestly get a lot of good mileage iron heart another one of the best support card support cards in the game man definitely want to use her with like Wong, odin stuff like that um yeah she just does a great job man i feel like nobody's really too pressed to counter her at any point with like a cosmo or like a shadow king or something like that and um yeah you like Ironheart, she's like one of the beginning cards that you get in the game. Like you just will always get mileage out of her no matter what, no matter what type of deck as well, man. So I'm gonna put her in A tier. She might even be S honestly, but I think this is a good spot for her. I think it's a good spot. Lady Sif. Lady Sif. She's similar to Coulson in that you usually want to run her on one style of team, which is the Scar. Um, the good thing about her over Swordmaster, although she is weaker, is that you know exactly which card you're going to discard, right? And um, she's definitely not a bad card at all. She might even be like the top. Yeah, Lady Sif is pretty decent though. Lady Sif, I'm putting her in C. Lockjaw. I think Lockjaw is probably the top of B. He used to be S before the nerf, but it's just the fact that whenever you run Lockjaw, you're just praying, right? You're praying you get the right card. 
although he does work good with cars like Thor, cars like um, Giganto. You're always praying when you use Lockjaw. Although the strategy is pretty decent, like you can run them obviously with, um, what's his name? Big Thanos as well, man. Lockjaw is all right. I like Lockjaw a lot. Morph. This is one of the, this, Morph is one of the worst cards in the game, period, man. I, I, you like, he can be good. It's just random. Like, you don't... And I, I feel like there's no... In a game where knowledge is so important and, and, and consistency, trying to make your, your games as consistent as possible with whatever deck you're using, Morph is just not it, bro. Like, the only type of team I want to run Morph on is, like, the Nagatha team. And that's, like, literally the worst style of team in the game. So I'm putting Morph in F. But he honestly might he, might not even be the worst card. We gonna get to the worst card though. Um, up next we got Moon Knight. I'm put Moon Knight. Um, all these like discard card cards are probably gonna be in like C tier to be honest. Because of Moda, honestly. Like Lady Sif, Moon Knight, Black Hat, Sword Mask. Whenever I get to him. Because of Modoc, there's literally like not really any reason to use him. Like you just put Modoc, you put a whole bunch of six cost cards, and you hide them behind Invisible Woman, and that literally just takes away every every everything from them. But I think what makes him better than the other discard cards is that you can use them with stature because it's from both of your hands, right? Not just not just discarding your own card he might even i think modok is better than i mean moon knight is better than hulk but so i'm put him in me uh yeah i'm, I'm gonna move hulk buster down sorry my guy sorry my dude mr fantastic is a b level car that's it Mystique. She's the second best three cost. Killmonger is the best. She's the second. You could do so much with Mystique. She's cheap. Like only only reason why she's not the best is because she has zero. Literally, if if Mystique had one point of power, she would be the best three cost card. But because she doesn't, she's the second. Up next, Nakia. Um, I feel like even and and they did buff Nakia, right? So she's three three now, instead of the three two that we see on the screen. She's definitely better than these. I feel like she's like the same as Mr. Fantastic. Like these three, these three cards are like all the same level of. of she might even be a. Uh, I don't know, man. It's a lot of. Like I said, man, these cards are like really close. Like all of them have pretty decent utility. Even the C cost cards have pretty good utility, man. Magic. It's not five three anymore. We know she's three two. That extra turn is just just phenomenal, bro. On top of that, she counters like that that um, storm plus uh, legion legion style team, man. Magic is. Magic is solid, man. Magic is really good. Up next, we got Mrs. Mrs. Teenage, the Teenage Warhead herself. You know, she got buffed as well. I, I feel like I can't put any, like, destroy cards below A, honestly, because not only does she stop your opponent, right? She, she enables Wolverine. She enables Bucky Barnes. She enables Nimrod. Right, like she, she's just like, she's just a phenomenal card, man. I might even put her like up here above Green Goblin, like the teenage warrior, bro. If you if you get this card, I know she's pretty rare. Definitely use her for sure. Up next, we got Big Maximo, Big Maximus, man. This is an A rank. Usually want to use him later. 
because he kind of helps your opponent out. But 3-7 with a, a better drawback than Black Cat, if that makes sense, is way better. On top of that, you can run him with like Ronan, man. Maximus is really solid, man. I like Maximus. Rhino. Rhino would be F. But because of like that Storm Legion, I'm gonna put him in D. Not that, not that great. Literally all of these cards do something and he literally just ruins he just ruins the location right like that's not you can't really make a deck based around that so he doesn't really fit on most teams so um man rhino looks sick he ha, rhino looks sick he's just not that good unfortunately um, but yeah man i was telling y'all about the worst card in the game and here he is, man, the Punisher, man. Literally worse than Morph. Once you get literally any any other three-cost card, because I know the Punisher is the first card you get, like one of the first cards you get in the game, man. His time is up, bro. Like, literally the worst card in the game. RIP Punisher, man. Buff him. Devs, buff him, please. That's all I can say on him, man. I'm sorry. Miss Rogue. She is... She's up here for sure. Rogue is a sick card. Very useful. Rogue will do everything for you. She will pay your taxes. She will babysit your children. She will do your homework. She will go to work and punch in for you. She will do everything for you, man. Rogue is sick. Big Patriot. Another s rank man. To this day, like, Patriot decks are just, they're still solid. Like, they're still really hard to beat. Um, just a phenomenal card, especially when you hide them behind Invisible Woman or combine them with Mystique. Only thing you got to worry about if you don't have Invisible Woman is um, Enchantress. And if they're not running Enchantress, you're literally free. Or, or Rogue. But yeah, if they're not running chances or or um, or rogue, you're literally free to run that archetype, man, and, and you're gonna get a lot of wins. Patriot plus Ultron will literally get you to like rank 70 in no time. Polaris, Polaris is an A rank card. She looks sick, by the way, like Polaris. I really like her design. I don't even know what Marvel comic she's from. I, I, I'm not really a Marvel fan like that. I just like the game. But Polaris is really good. Obviously works great with Kingpin. Works great on move teams. Um, works great with Lizard. Uh, counters like Ant-Man and Mojo and stuff like that, man. Polaris is just solid, bro. Polaris is really good. Plus 3-5, like, I think she's, like, the only 3-5, and that's just a really good power level. Most of these are, like, 4 or, like, 2. Um, and she doesn't really have a drawback like Maximus, like Black Cat, and like Deathlock, right? So you can put her on any team, honestly. Up next, we got Big Saber Tooth. I lied when I said I'm going to put all the destroys in A. I'm going to put Saber Tooth in C because... Once you get every destroy card, you don't use Sabretooth anymore, man. Um, it's unfortunate. He's decent, but there's really no reason to use him once you get like Deadpool, Bucky, like once you get the whole collection, Ar Arnim Zola, um, Death, like Sabretooth, his, his time is up, man. I'm sorry. Pour one out for him, man. Big Silver Surfer. Big Surfer is the top tier. Big Surfer is top tier, man. You can literally just, you literally can get scrubbed out by a Silver Surfer deck at any time, man. There's so many good three cost cards. You just run him, you just use them at the end with or without Wong. 
and you just win the game, like, just cheat. <laughs> Big Thor. Thor is... Thor is tricky, man. You, you use him with Lockjaw most of the time. But you can also use him on like a weird Odin style deck, right? Where you just use Odin on the uh, the Mjolnir. I think Thor is really good. He's the strongest three cost in the game. Or it has the potential to be. Always want to run him with Jane. He's uh, really solid, man. Thor's just good. Swordmaster, like I was saying, man, discard is just once you get Modoc, there's no reason to use Lady Sif, Swordmaster, um, Moon Knight, unless you're running like a, a stature type team, man. But 3 6, I'm going to put him at the top, man. Like these cards just suffer from. Literally every C tier card suffers from you like getting a better version of that card, right? It's unfortunate. I really like Swordmaster too, but he's C tier. Sauron. Sauron is really cool. The problem is you're very limited in the the type of teams that you can use them on, right? Like you want to run like Typhoid, Mary. Uh, Ebony Maw, Red Skull. You can combine them with Patriot, but I never see anybody do. Ah, no, you can't. You actually can't. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate, man. Soran's all right though. Soran's all right. Like, yeah, man. Soran. I don't know, man. It's unfortunate, but yeah, he's just not that good. Mrs. Storm herself. Another S rank. Definitely S tier. Um, Storm is just cheap. Like, she's just irritating. <laughs> like, nope. Just, whenever you see Storm, you just, you just get nervous, bro. Like, you don't, you, you know they're probably gonna play Juggernaut, they might play Legion like Storm. She's just gonna give you a hard time, bro. Only reason why she's not the best is because she's weak, but Storm, man. <sighs> that card, bro. Big Venom. I got Venom. Shout outs to Eminem, man. Venom's pretty good. Obviously works best on destroyed teams. I've never seen him used outside of destroy, and we know he got buffs at 3-3. But he probably can be used outside of destroy, honestly. We'll just never see him because um, people just love to copy whatever the meta is, whatever decks they see somebody else use, so. But Venom's always gonna be good. I definitely gotta put him above her though. He's like one of the best destroy cards you can have on your team. Big Vulture. Big Vulture. I'm putting him like with Hulkbuster. Like I said, man, move is just not that good of a, a style. Um, I might move him up a little bit. Put Sif a little bit further back. Alright. This is not that good of a style. has very, very good potential to be uh, get you a lot of points. You just got to move them over and over again. But like I said, move isn't that good. And um, yeah, that's it on Vulture, man. Miss Wave. I said, I know I said Storm makes you nervous whenever you see Storm on the screen. But this card, whenever you see Wave, like, bro, like, you almost want to forfeit, bro. Like, you know they're going to play Galactus. And if they don't play Galactus, they're going to play, like, some weird, like, Doctor Doom. They're going to play Odin. Like, Wave literally enables so much. Like, you, you literally never know what's going to happen with Wave. But the reason why she's S2 is because she allows you to get your more expensive cards out 
earlier. Although everyone just wants to use her with Galactus, man, you can do a lot of creative stuff with Wade. She's definitely one of the best cards in the game for sure. Literally, the three, the three rank, uh, the three cost cards probably have the most S tiers in the game, honestly. All right. Up next, we got Big Wolf's Bane. Big Wolf. Um, I don't think Wolf Bane is that good, honestly. He's cool on like Wong teams. He's cool on uh, Silver Surfer, but most three costs are cool on Silver Surfer. Um, I think he's probably like late B. Mrs. Jean Grey. Yeah, like I said, man, it's too many S tiers in three. This is probably the most S tiers I'm ever gonna put in like, or the most like cards I'm gonna put in S tier on any tier list I make, bro. Uh, yeah, Jean Grey is just phenomenal, bro. Like it's literally more S tiers in three than any other tier. That's crazy. But yeah, y'all know Jean Grey, man. She's just she's irritating. She's cool though. Shadow King. He's not four three. Obviously, he's three three now. Um. Pretty cool tech on or to run against like high evolutionary. But the thing is, bro, like somebody used Shadow King against me and I had like Sunspot in the Hulk out on the last turn and I didn't use energy and I still beat them, right? So Shadow King is just not that good, man, unfortunately. for him. I think he's one of the sickest looking cards in the game, but he just sucks, unfortunately. Big Hit Monkey, I'm gonna put him at the top of A. Um, Hit Monkey is very good. Uh, I just think that extra like three and two makes him a little bit worse than when he was two zero, as you can see on here. But um, yeah, Hit Monkey, he's all right, bro. He's definitely really good. Actually. Nah, he's he's top A. He's not he's not S tier anymore. And then last but not least, we got Beast. Um Beast. Three. We know he's three and four now. I would put Beast probably right here. I think that's a good spot for Beast. And um Yeah, that's gonna be the end of the end of the three cost tier list, man. Y'all leave like, leaves comments, road to 100 subs, man. I seen two two more people subscribe since the last video, man. Shout outs to y'all, I appreciate y'all. Everybody leave likes, leave comments, man. Tell me what else y'all wanna see as far as it comes either to this game or anything else, man. I'm starting from zero subs and uh, I'm just gonna keep working my way up. So um, we'll see y'all with the next episode. We're going to be doing the four cost cards. Um, and yeah, that's it, man. Y'all have a good